Hi, I'm Paul Hughes, uh, Chairperson of Stratford Youth Forum. Hello, I'm Kieran, a member of Stratford Youth Forum. And we just sort of want to give a wee overview of where that idea for the Lakina, our vision project, came from. It's just over the years, the, the young people of Strathfoyle, there's, there's very little community services in this state for them to do things. But whenever there was funding for a youth development project a few years back, most of the money was actually spent taking young people out to Craig and Country Park and all our water sports resources across the country, including a few in County Life and that. And the young people sort of came together and said, with a resource like this on our own doorstep, should we not be campaigning or doing something about it? Well, initially, we've got great plans at the moment in Derry for the bridge, the new pedestrian bridge across the foil, and for the pathway along the foil on the on the water side. Well, really, it's a natural thing, I think, that we could join up the path and bring people out here over a mile from the bridge to here, and you're in an area where you could circumvent the, the lock itself. When I came here first, there was no shops, there was no bus service, there was only about a third of the state that's here now. The lock at that particular time was, as it is now, a great amenity for the area, which had never been developed. It could be made more amenable by putting a walk round the lock itself and making it a little bit more interesting for children. Actually, plans was uh, created by the London Dairy Development Commission back in 1973, and it was proposals for in a clocky area and surrounding and as you can see here they had plans for a golf course, an actual hotel, riding stables, camping, um, caravan, park, everything. It's been a part of our culture since we've been young, you know, just always been there. And we do use it every day, you know, just driving past it, but we've normally just used it for walks, you know, walking around the lake, as they call it, or in the summer we like to go down and just sit and relax or camp out illegally. <laughs> the history from that area, is, it is amazing, you know. Um, the, the fort that they had there, it was there right up until the 1800s, mid-1800s, or remains of it anyway. Um, the old church and even the graveyard itself, you know, I think dates back. I think the the oldest, the oldest grave there. I think it's sixteen uh, hundreds uh, of a guy called Cornet Herd, um, and the amount of people buried in the graveyard, you know, was have some sort of significance. You know, uh, there's a guy Alexander Gilfillan, who was buried there in 1838. Who was a surgeon RN on Sir John Frank's first Arctic expedition. Well, again, the graveyard has a wealth of history and that's been lost because the headstones are falling down, getting grassed over, people are picking the, the lettering out of the those that are left and um, it should be recorded and uh, made available as part of the, the records of the, the parish. We would often walk down Sunday afternoon to the graveyard partly because the grandparents are buried there but there's also you know things of internet interest like red squirrels and rabbits there is quite a bit of wildlife around the lock I've seen three mink and a couple of otters plus the swans I think she had five or six isn't that right signets this year it's a place that I know I it's always been there when I moved away and I always said one day that I would come back to my roots and I have. There's many activities that can happen down here. It's a big open space. You've got the old schoolhouse, the old chapel that could be given back to the community. I think it's vitally important that, that we provide facilities and, uh, and, and outlets for our youth. As I say, there, there, there are opportunities here for physical activity um, around the loch and in the loch on, on the water and uh, around exploring the nature and, and the natural heritage here. Well, I like the views and the lovely water. I like going walks around and looking at the water from all the different parts. Well, I like a water park with slides and activities like games in the water and maybe like a path around it for people to walk with picnic tables for mamas to sit and a park maybe and a small area for babies to play. I would like to see canoeing and like the pier to jump off and all. 
I would like to see clubs and coming down and doing water activities and going for walks and things. Uh, I would like canoeing and being able to jump off a pier like in Craig and Country Park. Well, me and Amanda was just talking about that. We were saying that we would like, if there was more benches, because when you go down, you have to like, sit on muck or whatever or you can, uh, or rocks. It would be nice if there was a nice few wee benches where, like, for a lot of the elderly of the community as well, to go down and just sit yeah. around in the nice weller. And, and a couple of, like, signs put up to say what life is in the lock. There's not many people know about the lock, and um, then if they saw it, they would... Like to come. Out of nothing and a, a reservoir in Craigan, they have developed a, a country park with a lot of water activities plus other activities around that. Here they have a much more ideal situation and who's to say why they couldn't develop it here also. I see Loch Ina as an untapped potential. Uh, I can see it. Uh, the vision for it is unbelievable. But, uh, as, as a youthful estate, we just think that this is a, a waste of space down here and we're willing to do everything to, to campaign to get it regenerated so it can reach its full potential. So I'd like to see in the future that this this great asset for the community and for the city is not destroyed and looked after and managed sustainably for the future. The one thing I would, would like to see put into use is um, like the old chapel down at the bottom of the hill. I would like that to be made into a, like a heritage centre. Um, the old school centre could be developed and the, a social club to provide pools, snooker competitions, darts, um, amongst other things for the older residents, quizzes, bingo. The old chapel and the old school as we call them should remain and as part of our heritage and as part of our community and should s continue to serve our community. The council would need to be more involved in trying to pursue yeah. our <coughs> hopes for the area. Also, in Strathfoyle in the last five to six years, I've seen that a marked influx of Polish nationals coming to live in the area. And they, above all elements in the community, use here a lot. They're sort of part of their traditional culture, as fishing's a big thing. Um, there was some community concern around the, the pike being caught and killed. And, but, you know, so we're trying to bring in a bit of cultural awareness around that also. Um, instead of that community being, being demonised, we'd like them to be fully involved. Everyone involved in funding, I know it's, it's tight and we keep hearing about this financial crisis, but I'm sure that um, for the activities that can come out of this area here, it'll be well worth it. Young people will be able to get involved in the conservation of the local environment, the local heritage, the numerous projects. The primary school, a teacher you've heard from him on the DVD already, he's hoping for an outdoor classroom teach young people about the different ecosystems that's here. We go to Donegal to see beautiful places in Donegal and quite honestly sometimes we overlook what we've got on our own doorstep. You know, and I think now if we could push forward it would be ideal if we could get something done with it um, because it's a, a national treasure.